European folklore has featured many stories surrounding bogs, but the real life stories are even more surprising. And with their conditions being able to preserve artifacts for many thousands of years, modern science can finally reveal these stories. From mysterious wooden containers to ancient lost treasure, here are 10 mysterious things found in bogs. The acids inside bogs can even preserve human tissue. Discovered in 2003, Old Krog and Man was named after the bog that preserved his body. Examination of the body found that he died between 362 and 175 BC. He was in his early 20s and over 6 foot tall, which is unbelievably tall for someone born 2000 years ago. The location of his burial, which eventually became a bog, was reserved for royalty. For this reason, he is thought to have been a king, but his people betrayed and sacrificed him. He was beheaded and his body was literally cut in half. A stab wound was also found on his chest. Many speculate his people killed him as an offering to the gods in the hope of being blessed with a good harvest. This speculation is supported by the body's mutilated nipples. This was a time when rejected kings would usually have their nipples cut to mark them as an unfit leader. He seems to have been a person of high status as his body shows no signs of hard labor and he was on a good diet for at least four months before death. For many centuries, mysterious wooden barrels have been discovered in bogs. The mystery here was identifying what was contained in these barrels. It's a thick, waxy substance that was originally thought to be several hundred year old butter. For the longest time, no one knew what it was or why they were found in bogs. But in 2003, it was found that only some examples of bog butter was actual butter. Most of it was meat based. Most bog butter is found in the British Isles, and is thought that the barrels were thrown in bogs to prevent the butter from going bad. Maybe that's why so many of them have been discovered. It would be easy to forget where you dumped a barrel in the marshlands of Europe. The oldest known bog butter was dated at about 5,000 years. On the 24th of January 1894, an ancient wooden structure was discovered in a Russian bog. Now known as the Shigir Idol, it was crafted 11,000 years ago, which makes it twice as old as the pyramids. 2.8 meters of the idol was recovered from the bog, but its original height was estimated to be over 5 meters. It's the oldest wooden structure ever discovered. But that's not what makes it incredible. Carved into the idol is a coded message from the past. It is covered in mysterious encrypted patterns that are thought to demonstrate ancient mythology. Some researchers think it tells of how the Earth was created, while others think it tells of parallel universes connected to our own. It's believed that humans of this period often carved idols as a way of spreading all kinds of information, so realistically the message could mean anything. For 3000 years, two Bronze Age houses lay hidden in an English bog, but in 2006 it was rediscovered by shocked archaeologists. The site is now known as Peterborough Pompeii, and was abandoned 3,000 years ago when the houses caught fire. Because they abandoned the buildings so fast, the houses still contained spears, daggers, clothing, and food that had not finished cooking. Animal bones and human remains were also found half buried. It's the first time we can actually look into a home from the Bronze Age. Archaeologists are trying to find out whether the fire was accidental or deliberate, with some suggesting it was started to cover up a murder.
In July 2006, a strange object wrapped in leather was discovered in an Irish bog. It turned out to be an early medieval book of Christian Psalms. Written around 800 AD, it's considered Ireland's biggest discovery since the Victorian era. And following its discovery, the media reported the book was first opened to show Psalm 83, which tells of a plan to destroy Israel. As the book was discovered in the same month that Lebanon went to war with Israel, many believed it was some kind of prophecy. But apparently the book wasn't even opened at Psalm 83, so the media sources were just mistaken. The book is unique. Nothing quite like it has ever been found due to its mysterious cover. Firstly, the cover isn't attached to its pages, which is unusual for a medieval book and the cover was lined with papyrus. Papyrus was produced in Egypt, and as far as history is concerned, it really shouldn't be in a medieval Irish book. Animal fossils are often found in bogs all around the world. Among the most interesting of these is the Irish elk. The Irish elk is an extinct species of giant deer, its name is misleading, as it wasn't an elk, and it wasn't exclusive to Ireland. It gained its name as most early examples were discovered in Irish bogs in the 17th century, and scientists had no idea what it was. In 1828, a fossilized skull was examined after being recovered from a peat bog. It was determined to be the skull of an ox. This find may seem insignificant, but it sparked a trend of exploring bogs in the hope of discovering new species that died out long ago. This may sound odd, but many bogs contain the secrets of ancient murder mysteries. An example is Lindau Man. Lindau Man was discovered in a bog on the 1st of August 1984. He died between 2 BC and 120 AD when he was strangled, beaten, and had his throat cut. Another example is Boxton Man. He was discovered in a Swedish bog in 1936, and was originally thought to have been a recently escaped convict, but was later found to be a medieval murder victim. He was killed by three strikes to the head, and then thrown into a nearby lake. Over time, the lake turned into a bog, and his story lives on. Since his discovery, local Swedes have been desperate to identify Boxton Man because of a dark legend. According to legend, an official was once recruiting soldiers when he was murdered by peasants who didn't want to fight in a war. His body was thrown into a bog, and his ghost has haunted the surrounding villages ever since. A few years ago, a strange wooden object was pulled from an Irish bog. The object was dated at 4,700 years old, and later identified as a canoe used for fishing. But the bog it was found in is a lot more interesting. Inside it was soon discovered the remains of an ancient forest, but they also discovered a Bronze Age trackway. Its purpose is unclear. It could be strong evidence that people used to live in the forest, or it could just have been built for transport through an uninhabited area. It's at least 3,000 years old, but not much else is known. I think it was just used for transport as not much else has been found, although they did find a red deer skull. In 1921, Danish archaeologists discovered a 3,400-year-old oak coffin in a bog. Inside the coffin, they found the remains of a teenage girl from the Bronze Age. It would only be in the next century when science could tell us anything about the girl's life. University of Copenhagen researchers say she was born in the Black Forest, which is in southern Germany. She was born into a powerful family, but eventually sent away to marry into a Danish tribe. She died almost immediately after arriving in Denmark, and her burial mound just so happens to be preserved as a bog. Inside her coffin, she was buried next to a cremated child.
All the numbers up until now have been pretty mysterious, but in my opinion, they're basically worthless. Number one is something valuable. In 2009, a strange piece of metal was pulled from a bog. It was dated at 3,000 years old and found to be 87% gold. It's not very mysterious, but it is shiny. Hey, is that trouble or not? Huh? They're not having trouble, are they? That's trouble of some kind, George. That's trouble of some kind, isn't it, or not? Yeah. 